In the early days of WoW, first aid was a crucial profession for both questing and PvP, but as player power increased and leveling became easier, it slowly fell out of use. In this video, we'll be talking about the rise and fall of the first aid profession. At launch, the first aid trainers in the main cities could only train you up to journeyman first aid, which is the 150 skill level. You would then have to either go to Stromgard for Alliance or Duskwall of Mars for Horde to buy a manual that you could use to learn expert first aid, as well as a manual for heavy silk and mage weave bandages. To learn artisan first aid, you had to do a quest called Triage, which is in Hammerfall, Rothy Highlands for Horde, and the Theramor Dustwall of Marsh for Alliance. The first aid trainers in Ironford and Orgrimmar had breadcrumb quests to get you there. Interestingly, despite the Triage quest teaching you artisan first aid, it wasn't until patch 1.2 that the guy you learn Artisan First Aid from would actually teach you heavy mage weave bandages, rune cloth, and heavy rune cloth bandages. So you could get Artisan First Aid at launch, but you wouldn't be able to actually get to 300 First Aid skill until patch 1.2. When Blackwing Lair came out in patch 1.6, a new anti-venom was added, the powerful anti-venom, which could cure poisons up to level 60. While this wasn't effective in PvE, as bosses were level 63, in PvP, this was great. Unless you were a rogue, then it sucked, as people could take your poisons off of themselves. Later on in patch 1.8, the level requirement to do the triage quest and learn Artisan First Aid was decreased from level 40 down to level 35. In one of the earliest patches in Wrath of the Lich King, in 3.1, you no longer needed to do the triage quest to learn Artisan First Aid and all the bandage training was moved to trainers in major cities, including both the ones that he taught, as well as one that you'd buy from books in Stromgard and Dustwall of Marsh. And fun fact, the triage quest is still in the game, even today, though only for tailors. For the Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King, there were no new anti-venoms and only two bandages of the new cloths, the base and the heavy versions. In the next two expansions, Cataclysm and Miss, they increased this to three bandages, Cataclysm added the dense ember silk bandages, and Mist technically had two, but you could upgrade the heavy and wind wool bandages to cost two wind wool cloth instead of three, so it was more efficient. For the most part, though, the profession was kind of stagnant at this point, with the one big change being that the trainers in cities could now train all ranks from Apprentice onwards, and the vendors who sold the manuals for Horde was moved to Moonglade to be a Druid trainer, while the Alliance vendor just had the manuals removed. The first interesting change to the profession happened in Warlords of Draenor, where you learn the first anti-venom the profession had gotten since Vanilla WoW, as well as an oil called the Fire Ammonite Oil, to remove diseases and decrease the duration of any diseases applied by 50% for 2 minutes. Also, the first and only healing potion that you could make with first aid, the Healing Tonic. Interestingly, however, none of these required cloth, as the profession always had, Instead, they required materials gained through the fishing profession, which had throughout the game's history been more closely tied to cooking than first aid. Legion was the last expansion that had first aid as a profession, but it certainly went out with a bang. It had three base bandages, the Silk Weave Bandage, the Silvery Salve, and the Silk Weave Splint. As in Warlords of Draenor, the Salve was made from fish, and the Splint actually required Laystone Ore, the first and only mining material used in first aid ever. But on top of these, Legion also added a bunch of NPCs across the Broken Isles, and while killing enemies in the open world, you could get a note that would direct you to one of these NPCs, and you would then have to heal them with a specific first aid ability you gained, like Treat Burns or Set Bones. And if you got the notes and saved all the NPCs, you got an achievement which awarded the title Field Medic, a great title choice for healers everywhere. Then in the Battle for Azeroth pre-patch, the profession was removed as a secondary profession, with all the items it created being moved over to tailoring and alchemy. First aid was originally a way for all classes to have some kind of healing ability. Then, when the game evolved to a point where everyone already had some kind of healing ability, and they refused to remove the restrictions on actually using first aid, it kind of just became redundant, and that's why they decided to just remove it, uh, but they didn't want to have to actually remove everything in the game associated to first aid, so they just moved those over to two existing professions. 